Hello and welcome to episode 120 of the Heart of Markness Led Zeppelin podcast. Want to give a quick shout out to Keenan, who I told I would say hi to today. Hi, Keenan. See, I'm a man of my word. Today's topic is Led Zeppelin. Gasp! What a stretch! In Seattle on July 17th. 1970, 70 what mark, 70 what mark, one's good, one's not so good, 73. Whew! Because it's it's a good show. I mean, not only is it a good show, it's a good tour, but it's also one that I, I, I typically, the U.S. 73 tour, it's kind of always in my eh bin, even though I featured it several times uh because it's like oh it's the song remains the same everybody's seen that it's the same set list it's essentially the same level of performance but then i remember this is led zeppelin and this is the led zeppelin podcast so you guys hopefully won't be like fuck that just sounds like a shittier version of the song remains the same but it's not zeppelin has a has a, a good history in seattle Even the 77 show, well, no, I'm not even going to say that. (laughs) There's the video of it. That's why that show has notoriety. And the video makes it worthwhile. And it's not terrible. But it's like, man, man, why couldn't couldn't any of the L.A. run or the, um, the Landover run or the Chicago, not the one where he quit, or the Madison Square Garden, why can't any of those be out? illegally with pro shot why does it have to be seattle but whatever beggars can't be choosers and again what do we do what do we do what's the motto splitting hairs and talking shit that's what we do here at the heart of markness let's get started bum 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 i oh i need you guys to give me some suggestions I'm kind of running out. I mean, I'll, I'll always just grab shows and play them. But give me some suggestions, some shows that I've missed. Some shows that you may want to hear more of. And if you're going to suggest a show, please tell me why. You can tell me in the Facebook group. You can tweet me at Heart of Markness. Or uh, comment on YouTube or mail me at mark at heartofmarkness.com. Leave a comment on the website, heartofmarkness.com. Something like that. If there's a show that you would like me to feature and I haven't, please let me know. But, but let me know why. Like if it's something that is that, you know, is kind of on record as being a little bit of a turd of a show. Or the sound quality is dodgy. But a certain performance of a song is amazing. Let me know. Because uh, I want to inject a little more zazz into the podcast. Or I could do some more solo stuff. I guess I could do that. I could do Paige Plant, Jimmy, Jonesy, Robert. Well, you know who's in the band. I guess I could do that. But when I do, whenever I do anything that's not just straight up Led Zeppelin, my numbers tank. Which I understand. Because a bunch of you look at the podcast and go, John Paul Jones Zuma tour, pass, which I don't blame. It's okay. Not that it wasn't a great tour, but the but the the appeal is much more narrow, much narrower than it is for like good old Led Zeppelin. So let's do good old Led Zeppelin, Seattle, 1973, July 17th, five days past the anniversary of this show, which is what got me listening to it again. And um, it's good. It doesn't get me like Detroit. Detroit gets me. Detroit is like, oh my God, this show is certainly good and certainly fun and certainly Led Zeppelin. But I don't know. Maybe when I listen to it again, I'll fall more in love with it. All right, friendos, let us begin. We are going to start with No Quarter. It clocks in at a lean 14 minutes. And a good chunk of that might be applause, I can't remember. If it is, I'll chop off that extraneous applause and it'll be even shorter. But No Quarter, this is the first appearance, this tour, of this song. And I don't feel like it really 
took deep root until some of the 75 tour, but 77, I mean, even though it was ridiculously over, over, you know, bloated and long, when it was good, it was, it was otherworldly and it's still good now. I mean, this is good now, but this, I don't know. What am I saying? I don't know. How about I play the fucking song? How about I play the heckin' gosh darn boobly woobly song for you? No quarter, July 17th, 1973. And this is a Zep Head 315 release. A merge of a zillion different sources. Not a zillion, but um, to make a complete show and it sounds wonderful thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to zephead 315 and to bert 13 for doing a good chunk of the legwork all right no quarter ladies and gentlemen bow wow now now bow wow now now see you in a few
like that. Bonzo sounded a little different to me tonight. It may be that the way that he's miked and the way he's coming through. It seems like he's trying hard to do some kind of... I'll do a lot with the snare. Um, I was going to say syncopated, but I don't think it's syncopated. Um, I lack the words that should have sent a poet. Um, yeah, I don't know. Seems different to me or that this song in 73 was not uh, as rooted as it would be in 75 and 77 when he would actually really drive the groove of it <clears throat> I just got a feeling not that he was playing bad or in any way impaired not nothing like that it just seems like he was going for a different flavor and uh, I wasn't really picking up on it or it could just simply be the vagaries of my own nervous system and the fact that I have not been able to sleep for like two months and it had been driving me literally crazy but um, a couple nights ago I got some sleepy sleepy gummies CBD and CBN elderberry gummies specifically designed for like dude you will sleep and not like you know, not like Benadryl, not like a, a punch in the head, knock you out. But it did. It worked. The last couple nights I've, I've gotten home and just gone thud, like on the couch, sitting up, and just slept pretty well. Last night I slept pretty well. And it, it, what a difference. But I'm not all the way back yet. <clears throat> so it just may be that I'm in a shitty mood, and therefore nothing's really thrilling me. Yeah. Let's, let's chalk it up to that, because that performance was really cool. I liked I liked Jimmy. Jimmy was a little atypical too. There's a little, a little more avant garde at the end. A little more, I don't know. I liked it. How about that? I really liked it, and <laughs> I was both surprised and a little disappointed when it ended, which is something to say about a 13 minute long song. All right. Speaking of 13-minute long songs, we are going to play one that I don't rarely play because it's so goddamn overplayed. And 
whenever I put it on YouTube, YouTube has it hard for this song. Any whiff of this song, and I get the whole copyright complaint. You have to click here, click here to indicate that you have read this. You do not put Led Zeppelin, Stairway Away to Heaven, Warner Chapel Music. You what? What do you want to do? You want to? You're not in trouble now, but oh boy, are you close to being in trouble, boy? You have no idea how close to being in trouble you are. <clears throat> kind of warnings I get whenever it's Stairway to Heaven. Um, I mean, I always, almost always, get copyright flagged somehow, but there's there's like a a, a, a spectrum of copyright infringements on YouTube. Um, all but the most severe still allow YouTube to make money off your videos. They can run ads and make the money, but you can't run ads, you deceptive piece of shit. <clears throat> but I'll get stuff from the show's weird stuff. Like uh, Celebration Day from last week's came back and was like, this is Celebration Day from the song Remains the Same, or has a similar melody, or is melodically similar. And I'm like, well, has copyright devolved? Has this digital music bullshit devolved to such a point that it's like, kind of sounds like is enough to be like, that's my music. Well, Mark, uh, to be fair, Celebration Day is. Yes, 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 yes. The studio version of Celebration Day it's copyrighted and protected, and I'd be a dick for playing, and it would be illegal. Any of the official releases of Celebration Day, the song, like the song remains the same, any of the song remains the same versions that came out over the years, different remasterings, etc., copyrighted. I don't think it's on any other releases. I picked a bad song. Let's do, uh... Shit, let's do something like, uh... Ah, oh, fuck it, you know what I mean getting tied up in the in the minutiae of it and um but it'll play like it'll say it's so oh, it sounds like this and it, almost every week it happens it grabs some song sometimes a weird one like the wanton song and it, it it doesn't block the video there's only been one time in any any of the episodes where the where it was like listen and it was like an 11 second snippet of a song was like, listen, this is from this. And I could have gone through all the rigmarole and, and fought it, which I'm never going to do because it's always an automatic denial anyway. It's not Nobody there really reads it. If someone just gets, sits there and just deny, deny, deny. But what am I saying? What am I saying? I am saying... Oh yeah, so there's a button you can press that'll cut out the offensive. So 18 seconds, press the button, YouTube mutes it, I think. And the video stays on. And then a tier below that is, uh, well, the tier above that is like, no, just straight up no, strike one, you prick, you cannot post this. Tier below that is what I just described. The tier below that is, hey, this video is copyrighted and it's blocked in certain areas. But the certain areas are always weird, like North Korea, Iran, and Chad, or something like that. I'm like, who gives a fuck? But, and then below that is the, like I mentioned before, like, hey, these 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 songs sound pretty copyrighted to us, so uh, you can't you can't monetize this. We can, but we'll let you show it. So that's pretty much where I am, which is why I hem and haw when I play Stairway, and and it's also it's Stairway. I mean, it's Stairway. It's not a song like you've you've heard one, you've heard them all. Not at all. But Stairway's been around so much for we of our generation that it's like, okay, I don't need to hear it right now. Is this the best representation you have of this show? Um, but this one is... I like the solo. Jimmy's, Jimmy's got a little bit of a different edge. I don't want to say aggressive, because I don't get an aggressive vibe from it, but I get... I get him successfully pulling off things in this show that I kind of hear him trying to pull off mood-wise and technique-wise, like in 77 and 75, 75 more, and that sometimes he doesn't have the wherewithal to pull it off anymore, but here it's done virtuosically, if there's such a word. Virtuoso? No, virtuoso is a noun, so it can't be. I don't know. You know what I mean. All right. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> Stairway to Heaven. Boy, did I babble. I apologize for that whole... How long was that? 19 minutes? Wow. Alright, sorry. Stairway to Heaven. 
Seattle, 73.
I stand away to have The audience at the end. That was when Stairway was a moment, an event, a happening, something special. 71, it was the new song, really cool. 72, really cool. Great song, it's Stairway. 73 is when they're like, all right, here we go. Everyone, make it a sacred, ritualistic experience. We're about to experience Stairway to Heaven. Reverential awe is needed. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very well done. But that that choppy uh, staccato, I guess maybe is the word I'm looking for. Uh, Both Bonzo and Jimmy seem to try and go to... Um, I really liked it. I really liked it. Fluid fingers there, Mr. Page. Nimble and quick. Now, that was originally going to be it for the podcast, but it leaves us a little bit thin and anemic. So I didn't want to do a whole lot of love because I, I tend to always do a whole lot of loves and I'm trying to mix it up a little bit anyway. So it's not like here's dazed, no quarter and a whole lot of love. Here's no quarter, a whole lot of love and dazed. Um, so I am going to throw Heartbreaker in there. Oh, really, Mark? Not like you ever play Heartbreakers before. Fuck off. I have a limited set to pick from and it's good. This Heartbreaker is really good. I mean, most of the heartbreakers are. I love the 73 heartbreakers with Bonzo's, you know, boom, ba da, boom, ba da, da, ba da, 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 so, uh, brace yourself for the premature withdrawal, y'all. Heartbreaker.
Yeah, that was an abrupt ending. But I warned you. Did you forget? You forgot, didn't you? Until it happened. That's all right. I will not judge you. All right, here comes your favorite part of the podcast. If you want to find me, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube under the gnome de bloom, Mark of Markness, or whatever it is. Heart of Markness. There we go. Ha! Heart of Markness, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, YouTube, yeah, yeah, everything's up on YouTube now. I think you guys know that. Um, there's a Facebook group, Heart of Markness, with 100-plus folks in there that all love Led Zeppelin and classic rock. Sure, love to see you there. And I am also, where else am I? Where else am I? Line? Um, I guess that's everywhere. Oh, heartofmarkness.com. My website, which is primarily used to post these podcasts and links to the complete show like you'll be able to download this complete seattle show from heartofmarkness.com as soon as i put it up there which i will let's say tonight here's the set list standard 73 set list but here's what you'll be downloading if you get it the intro hey man no fireworks okay led zeppelin really want to play rock and roll celebration day black dog over the hills misty mountain hop since i've been loving you no quarter Song Remains the Same, Rain Song, Dazed, Stairway, Moby Dick, 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 Heartbreaker, Whole Lot of Love, and The Ocean. And The Ocean is what we're going to hear now because it's a badass song. But before that, if you like what I do and you like how I do it and you're of a mind and means to do so, I invite you to check out Patreon.com and consider becoming a patron of this podcast and becoming one of the titans upon whose shoulders rests this mighty podcast. And in that note, here are the current titans upon whose shoulders rests the mighty podcast. A laurel and very hearty handshake go to Philip. Welcome, Philip. Picard, Knegern, Jeff, Chris, Michael, Rob, Wayne, Brad. Wait a minute. What did I... Hmm. One of you, Rob, I'm sorry. Rob from Melbourne, Australia. That's right. I'm like, one of you is from Melbourne. Who was it? Sorry about that, Rob. Rob from Melbourne, Australia. Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, David, Mark, other David, 
Bonzo, Billy, and Mimo. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for being a friend. Bum, 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 bum. Going down the road back again. All right, let's listen to some Led Zeppelin. The Ocean. We're going to wrap uh, this uh, up, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and if you are a patron, you will get, if you choose the tier, uh, there's little bonuses for just, you can, uh, at any patron level, you get access to my cloud drive where I store all my shows. So you won't have to just scroll through hardermarktus.com like a sucker trying to find the links. You can go there and go, look at all this shit for yourself. Or you can even get special patron-only episodes that are better because they're secret. And they tend to be a little more esoteric and a little cooler. And, you know, I won't say the people that listen to them are better than you, but, you know, they are. So... All right, The Ocean, Led Zeppelin, Seattle, July 17th, 1973, and away we go. No, and dummy when one, two, three, four.
tonight from the four lads. So, it turns out I've already done this show in a two-parter back in like episode 60-something and 60-something. Fuck. I'm sorry, guys. It didn't hit me until Bonzo was like, and dummy went. And I'm like, I've heard that before. Then I scrolled through all my shows. I've got a lot. I've posted 207 shows total. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to have to get a spreadsheet or something. Obviously, I've lost track of the ones I've done cuz now I've done 3 3 episodes on Seattle 73. This is a new uh compilation and a new release though, so at least there's that. I am sorry guys, this is why I need you. Make some suggestions, tell me why you want that show and what part of it is the best and I will take it under advisement. All right, friends, thank you very much. Again, apologies for duplicating. Wasn't intentional. Be good to yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you soon.